Hey, what's up, guys? Kato back with another video. Into wait, a minute. It doesn't look like. I'm back. I'm back, guys. There was a picture. There we go. Oh, it's a video. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say there was a picture of uh, you know, the quarterback, uh, red shirt, uh, sophomore quarterback for I think it was like Washington State. Yeah, Washington State uh, University. Oh yeah, it says on the bottom. But yeah, I was saying there's a picture of him, but it was actually a video, just a thumbnail. But uh, let's uh, get back to the title. And I just actually st uh, stumbled upon while I was in my uh, news feed, like uh, like this phone I have, the Moto uh, was it the Moto Z two? Uh, something edition. I f I forgot what's called exactly, but you know, I had it like a it has like a built-in news feed. That you know, I, I I can choose, you know, whatever news I uh, want to uh, cover. And this actually stumbled upon it, you know, just today. Actually, uh, came out this morning. Hmm. And it says uh, a college quarterback found dead from apparent suicide by the police. Dang, I don't know why would he kill himself for. But, you know, let's get to it. That's what found dead with a parent. He was found dead when a parent appeared, I'm sorry, appeared to be self-inflicted gunshot wound to his head. Damn. The Washington State University quarterback who started in the Holiday Bowl last month was found dead in his apparent, I mean, in his apartment Tuesday from a parent's suicide, police said. And to be honest with you guys, I haven't really heard, you know, anything. I have never even heard about this guy other than today. So it's a pretty sad, you know, guys, you know, really just people, you know, at his at his age, you know, killing themselves. Probably something that, you know, we don't really uh we can, you know, definitely overlook things, but I guessing he can't at his uh at this situation, so let's see uh, why he did what he did. Okay, on Tuesday at about 4:30 p.m., police officers in Pullman, Washington, responded to an apartment. To an apartment. Yeah, I would have said I thought I read that wrong. After a player missed football practice, the Pullman Police Department said. Oh, I thought I was gonna say, okay. I thought they're gonna say something about the situation, and it did give a little a brief, uh, saying Washington State quarterback Tyler Hilinski or Hilinski. I'm guessing it's Hilinski. Uh, he threw three throws downfield for first down against Arizona in the second half against. Second half during an NCAA college football game, October 28th, 2017, in Tusca, Arizona. Inside, 21-year-old Tyler Hilinski, a redshirt sophomore quarterback, was found dead with what appeared to be a self-inflicted gunshot. Oh, you already said that. A rifle was found. Oh, he, damn, he's a rifle? God damn. Oof, damn! Because I mean, I thought he would uh shoot himself with a, like a pistol or a revolver. Damn, with the damn rifle. I mean, it doesn't really really matter which gun, but still, he how he's able to uh carry a rifle like that. I mean, unless Arizona's a uh, gun carrying state, but but still, how he's able to uh, bring it into a uh, you know in the college facility. Yeah, he must have hide it, hide that thing real good. A uh, rifle was found next to him, police said, and a suicide note was also recovered. Authorities in Whitman uh, County Coroner's Office are investigating to confirm the suspected cause and manner of death, police said. We are deeply saddened to hear the news of Tyler's passing. He was in the incredible young man and everyone who had the privilege of knowing him was better for it 
The entire WSU community mourns as thoughts and prayers go out to his family. Washington State head coach, I'm sorry, football coach Mike Leach said. Or Lech. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Leach. Uh, and he had a, you know, the football uh, team tweeted. We're deeply sad to hear. What didn't already? I get the already said that. WSU interim athletic director John Johnson said in a statement, Tyler was a tremendous individual, great friend and teammate, and he will be dis- uh, deeply missed. Our hearts will go to his family and friends. Johnson said on Tuesday night, the football team was brought together and told the news. There, they were met by campus and department counseling and psychological services, including athletics on staff, clinical psycho- psychologists, and a licensed mental health counselor along with WSU athletic medical team, he said. The university will continue to coordinate and provide ongoing counseling care to all student athletes as long as needed. And there's the uh, statement from uh, John Johnson. And uh, the Pac-12 conference Tweeted, the entire Pac-12 joins the at WSU Cougars in mourning the loss of football student athlete Tyler Hilinski. Our deep, our deepest condolences to his family, friends, and the WSU community. Damn, but has anybody even know why he, you know, shot himself? I don't know if it's probably from school or had probably had a bad relationship or something going on in the family or or anything uh, at the school. Like why? Why do he uh, shoot himself? But yeah, it's a uh, you know, and these are the highlights of you know him playing. <sighs> but yeah, this is a very sad uh, moment. For not only for the school, but his uh, friends and family and everybody that, you know, that, you know, that known him and cared and loved for him. But yeah, every time I hear about, you know, stories like this, I always know it gets me because because I know everybody, you know, at the most part thought about, you know, I don't know if they uh I don't know if a lot of people are, you know just, you know, depressed enough to do this, but I know a lot of people that, you know, thought about, you know, you know, committing suicide, but, you know, they either got, you know, talked out of it or they just, you know, just decided not to do it, you know, and I was one of those people that, you know, I thought about, you know, doing what Tyler did, but I decided not to do it. Oh, that was was Twitter. (laughs) But uh, yeah, man. But yeah, it's a uh, it's a very sad, you know, moment that happened. But it definitely shows that you know life doesn't stop for anybody. So, and one thing I tell you this though, nothing in this world is worth killing yourself. And I know things happen, and you know, and you feel like you know there's no point, you know, living anymore, but. If God's not calling you, then there's no point, you know, taking yourself out of this world. And that's just my uh, opinion. You can take it as it is. But like I said, you know, I will give him my condolences to, you know, Tyler and, you know, everybody that knows him and loves him and cares about him and RIP to him. So let me guys know in the comments, you know. How you feel about the story and anybody, you know, has any more intel about the story that, you know, I'm definitely missing because this is my first time I hearing about this. So, you know, let me know in the comments and 
hope you guys know enjoyed, you know, this uh story. I, I wouldn't, you know, but not in a way like, you know, it's entertainment, but you know, I didn't mean like that, but you know, this is real life. So but you know, like I said, don't forget to uh like, share, subscribe, and also comment. And I'll see you guys next time. In the next video. Deuces.